Yo, what is going on guys, my name's Offend the Machine, and today guys, I've got you in another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video back on the channel now today guys. I'm going to be giving you a god class for a god gun. Now, the god gun recently has just been buffed, and it's actually a starting weapon like we had in Advanced Warfare with the BAL-27. Obviously, the BAL-27 was always overpowered, even though it got nerfed, buffed, nerfed, buffed, and left, right, and center patches on it. But the KM-44 now, the gun that you get at the start of the game and you have since level 1, is a really good gun. They buffed it, and I'm going to be giving you guys a makeshift BAL-27 Inferno class for the KM-44 called the KN44 Inferno so if you're going to enjoy today's video or if you want to support me in any way shape or form because you're like me the content creator behind what's being made and portrayed to you guys today I mean I am beautiful right now I'm just kidding I'll kiss you on the forehead though if you leave a like down below and let's get straight into this so anyways the gun like I said the KN44 it's really good and it kind of resembles the BAL27 in a lot of ways because now it's got a lot of damage which can be kind of replicated like the Steed the Obsidian Steed from Advanced Warfare if you put the right attachments on it but if you put rapid fire on it which is the third attachment we're going to be discussing today. Obviously the Inferno from Advanced Warfare had more fire rate and that's what made it a really good gun and the Elite class that it was because it shot fast and then the BAL-27 is itself. It did a lot of damage and a lot of damage plus a high fire rate. Obviously guys, I mean, I'm no genius but I can work out a lot of bullets being put into someone at high power is going to be a freaking monster at any range if the recoil can be maintained. So we don't actually have a grip on this class because I believe the recoil can be maintained anyways. And that decision is down to the sheer fact of there's so many diverse movement systems in this game where you can jump shot, boost jump shot, or even slide shot and stuff like that. There's so many things wall running, so you don't really need to maintain your accuracy when you're going to be kind of all over the screen anyways, moving around the map in itself. You'll see a lot in the gameplay in the background. I'm like jumping, sliding just to try and get around the map. It's really, really diverse Black Ops 3, so I don't really think with the accuracy that already comes with this gun without the grip, even with rapid fire, I don't think it really needs a grip. So the next attachment is a quick draw on there, and the third attachment is gun going to be stock. Now stock is one of the main things on this gun. It kind of acts like a hybrid SMG. I've talked about this in a lot of other videos about the KM44, but it kind of does. It really does. Like you can rush with it, you can get people at long ranges, and rapid fire allows that to be kind of a really useful thing at the shorter ranges because it does act more like an SMG, especially if you have fast mags on as well, which allows it to be more mobile in terms of how fast you are with the gun, not just in terms of ADS like stock and quick draw, but the reloading mechanics as well. I believe for the battle though, it's a better better option to have like more bullets in the same mag so I choose for my fourth attachment the extended mag so the extended mag when you're spraying all these people say if you're in a gunfight while you're shooting more than one person and bearing in mind the Bal Inferno and the Bal Obsidian Steed had a lot of difference the Bal Inferno was really good for taking out a lot of people at once because of the fast fire rate and if you had the good mobility on the gun bearing in mind the mobility in itself on that variant was decreased anyways if you pumped it back up with like quick drawn stock and everything you could take out many multiple people or whatever you want to refer to that as at short ranges long ranges anything you particularly want but with the obsidian steed it was kind of like you had to strafe around everywhere and land all your shots and kind of wait for the bullets to register it was really clunky and weird so that's one of the reasons right there for why i use extended mags but in itself if you have scavenger like i have for the first perk that i'm going to discuss with you guys to replenish the ammo that you're shooting really fast if you have more bullets in the gun to start with then able to replenish in the gun at the same time it's a really good factor to actually have joined with scavenger so that's definitely a really good perk to have on there scavenger and the perks don't matter too much but you guys can choose what you have on there i mean at the end of the day we've already made the ball inferno or the kn44 inferno now in black ops 3 so the other perks i have on here as you can see on screen is ghost and obviously the best perk in the game that i consider to be awareness now awareness is really useful if you have a good headset a bad headset or no headset at all it's really good to hear people's footsteps and the direction that they're coming from and if you actually learn like the general directions of where people run around on different maps and you can actually you know decipher that by using awareness and where they're going to be coming from you can just learn the maps learn that on all the maps especially free fall this is good for and then take it off so take it off take it off once you've actually learned all the places where people actually come from the most popular and the most consistently so anyways that's my creator class for you guys my god gun my god class DKN44 Inferno. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you slap a like down below on it and a favourite if you loved it. And subscribe to the channel if you're new on that road to 7,000 subscribers or 6.5k. Either way, I want to say to you guys, thank you all for watching so much. The support recently has been incredible. I love all your faces. As usual, peace out.